Hey everyone, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome to another video. We are going to explore Flutter. And this is not just yet another video about Flutter because in this video, we are actually going to write a lot of code and we are actually going to nail down this one simple Flutter visit that is a text visit. So without any further ado, any further talking, let me just start this video. Let me tell you what actually this text visit is. And not every time I'm going to tell you that what am I using right here because I've already told you that we were using Visual Studio Code. We did have videos about how to set up everything and I'm using an Android emulator and you can just use any simulator or any real device, anything that you're good with. Now, I'll just increase the font size a bit and we do have this simple text as a child and we did saw in the last video that the text was very simple. I will just press this F5 key and it will run my code on my device. And by the time, let me tell you what we had. We have we did impose import a material dot dot package that has all the basic code that we needed. Then we use the main function that was the entry point to call a function that is run app where we passed a app which was not an app just a variable or you can say just a visit which was a stateless visit where we returned a material app. Material app is something that says that it can use all the material components. And then the material app has a title, a theme, a home. In the home, we had a scaffold. A scaffold was a basic folding for our phone's screen where we had an app bar. The app bar had a title. Then we had a body. The body has a visit that was a center visit which centers its child according to its parent. And then we had this child that was a text visit which displayed some text on the screen as it is right here. Now Flutter is all about widgets. Everything that you see in Flutter is a visit and most of the visits have to do something or the other with it with each other. What I mean is that I can't just pick one single visit which has nothing to do with any other visit I can just explain you. So I, I thought of choosing something which is a very basic and the most frequently used and something that you can easily relate to. That's why I choose to, st to start with this text visit, something which is very basic. Every time you will have to use it in your app. And also all the properties are something that you can easily relate to even if you're not, you know, even if you're not much into the field of programming. Now we did see this simple text as we, as we have on this screen which said, hi, I'm from DC Programmer. And here we are going to pass other parameters of this text visit that actually define how the text visit is going to look. No work is defined in the text visit as of now. Obviously, we can have a few, very few and basic work on the text visit. But that's something that, that, will, that will actually just make this visit a stateless visit, which we have not yet discussed. So I will not bother about that. I'm going to just make sure that I will tell you about all the basic stylings that we can provide to this text visit. And for that, we have this parameter that is style. Now, most of the parameters of any visit can just accept a single value or they can accept another visit. Now, what I mean is that in the text visit, this style parameter will accept another visit, which is a text style. Yeah, text style 2 is a visit in Flutter that will have its own parameters. While there are other parameters of any visit that can accept just any value. For example, text align is a parameter of the text visit that won't ask for another visit. It will just ask for a value whether it should be at the end, at the center or any kind, or anything as such. But we will have to discuss about the style visit because it got a lot of property like color, font size, background, font style, font weight and so on. So let's learn everything in this style visit from top to bottom. That is one by one from very basics to what we need in rare conditions. Now, first of all, this text is too small to be looked by anyone without watching in the HD quality. And even if you're watching at the highest quality available, I don't think that you can easily look at this text. So what I'm going to do at first is I'm going to pass this parameter that is font size. And here is this simple spark that I want you to know. See, every visit in Flutter will have a lot of properties and remembering all of them is not something that we can do. And most importantly, remembering all of them is not something that we need to do. What we need to do is to understand what they are and how we use them. Now I have this font size 
property that I knew that I can apply. I just typed as you can see. Let me show you how it actually works. I knew that there is something like font style, but I don't know whether it's capital F O N T style or it's a small F O N T style or whether it's capital F capital S or it's small S small S. And I mean I don't know any of that. And that's why when we write when we do development, it's not simple programming where you have to, you know, like where you have to remember whether input starts with a capital I or a small i. So here what I did was that I had my editor. I did type font. It gave me all the options. Font family, font size, font style and so on. I want to work with font size. I hit enter. Now, now we gave multiple options. Now these options may not always be working. So what you have to do is to hover over this font size. And it says that hey it will accept a double value. That will tell us the text scale factor. So we can pass any double value. Let's say I'm saying that uh, 40.0 is the double value which is now say the text size of the text that we passed and see it's pretty huge, right? Next we had other properties too like we have the font style which says whether it should be italic or non. But here when you hover over it says that hey you have to call this another widget font style. So what I say font style and this font style will give me further options like italic or normal or whether we want to pass a list of values so i'm saying hey i want italic i give a comma i save and see it become italic cool there are other possible parameters too like we can pass the color and choosing colors in flutter is something that uh, is not very easy so what we are going to do is that in the next video i'm going to show you how you can actually choose colors in flutter whether it's from a hash code or from a, from a rgb value but right now we will use this all the simple colors par provided which is colors then we use a dot or a period and we have all the further options as here i will use a red because it can look you know look easily sparkling on the screen then this important parameter that we have is font weight and this font weight too it accepts another text with another widget that is font weight so i will pass font weight and this font weight will give me further options like whether i should simply say that hey it's a common bold or whether i give a uh, provide a weight like weight which ranges from w100 to w800 i'm just saying that hey i want to give a common parameter that's bold and see it looks bold it's italic and the font size is huge now there are other parameters too that we can pass like background which is a very simple one we have background color not just background and background color can accept from colors any color and i'm saying black save it and you see it has a background color of black but apart from background color which simply accepts a color we have this background parameter that accepts a paint a paint is something that says that i don't just want to apply the you know color i even want to make sure that the color is applied in a pattern or in a way that you want so here we use this paint and then we use this double dots and it says that the color that we want so i'm giving a, it a color of black and then we have this style and this style is a lot so i'm saying what kind of the styling what kind of style that you want to give now fill will just do the normal filling and but we have this stroke which just strokes it from the borders so this was a background parameter which was not like the simple ones so here you have this paint then you have this double dots kind of things but that's pretty easy and this is not something that we always use usually a background color will do the job but if you want to make sure that your text has some outline border or whether it has some foreground color and so on then we may have to use this background which we will be dealing with further we will be dealing further when we have to use it now again there are many other parameters of the text style and this video is not like a basic video i will be telling you about 90 percent of everything that you have to understand about text widgets one other such parameter is just letter spacing which accepts a double value and it defines how should the letters be spaced which you can see now it's 20 and the same we have word spacing which defines how the words should be spaced pretty simple ones and i know that you all can easily understand what do they mean what do they mean now this another important one actually there are two important parts left in this style parameter one is this decoration which gives us some text decoration and this text decoration is 
they will have a list of values one of them most frequently used is this text decoration dot underline where we just underline the text but this decoration comes with further more parameters like we can say decoration color which will be a color so colors dot black and when i save this you see that the underlining color is black and i can even give even give some decoration style which will be a text decoration style dot dash dot dotted line and so on line is the default one dash you can see how the underline is dashed right now so this decoration is also an important yet another important parameter not much used but sometime you may have to drill down and here you see you have three different options one another one is there which is not much necessary to know as of now and last but not the least is the one that we usually use font family now here let me tell you one thing just on a side note that when you create an app or when an app goes into development usually people use their own custom fonts with the, something that they have bought or they got from a free website and that ain't easy because for that you will have to add that font file in the assets and then access it since i'm not doing that in this video because this video is like you know just the this is like almost the first video where we are even writing some flutter code so doing that won't be worth it in this video at least so what i'm doing is that i'm passing it a parameter font family and this font family is something that i we usually have on our phone like times new roman i will save this and look at this difference you know now this is a times new roman font family so that was pretty much it i will just leave it to in this leave it like this so that when i apply other parameters you can accept now remember these parameters of these were the parameters of a parameter of the text wizard that was a style which called this text style wizard which had its own parameter now there are other parameters of the text wizard directly which define some functionalities of the text wizard one of them is this text align where i can say that hey align the text in center and justify left right what if i say left okay what if i say right you know it uh, aligns to right uh, left will align to left uh, center will align to center as you can see and i'm telling this again because you know this is the problem that many people face while learning flutter because they are like hey this text align first i have to write this text in a small this a in capital then i have to write this t in capital and a in capital then we have this dot then you have the center and so on so i will say that don't just worry because you don't have to by heart this all when you will be writing the code even in android studio or visual studio you will get all this by default and this is not that college assignment where you have to learn everything you have to just learn how you are going to do this the syntactical part is something that the editor would auto suggest well uh, other options are like the text direction how the text should ha should have a direction which looks pretty much like uh, the text alignment but is not the same as it if i say that the text direction right to left as you can see we have text direction rtl then you see this is how my text will look like this in the same way we may have left to right and so on two another important parameters are this soft wrap okay not doft it's soft wrap which will accept a boolean value only whether it could be true or false when i'm saying this to true which is by default so we see the entire text like that wizard just expands itself if there is any space available but when i say false it doesn't now you see rest of the text doesn't appear to us like it's not in a wrap it just goes out of the screen now the soft wrap is not much powerful that because you know when we soft wrap a text we cannot actually see whether uh, some further text exists or not like in this case you can see that this prog g is bit G is not half cut 90% of the G is available 10% of G is not available and anybody can see that hey some of the text is not available on this screen or not visible on the screen but not every time we are going to have text something as that like what if the the text size the font size was a bit higher and everything about DC was gone well in that case nobody will even understand that there is some text which is not visible on the screen and for that situations we have this overflow which is our text overflow and it will accept multiple parameters uh, most used is this ellipsis which uh, you know puts three dots so that anybody can understand that some text is not visible on the screen other ones are this fade that fades some text uh, right now we can't see that because the text is too less but the ellipsis is mostly used i can tell you you know it, it gives three dots which is even a basic way of saying that hey this thing is yet continued but not visible so these were 
most of the options in our you know text visit one another one that i just mixed is this max lines with say how many lines we want i mean i keep this max lines to one then this text overflow can even say fade or even so fade how let me show you this max line says that only one line should be displayed and the overflow says that fade it to tell people that uh, some text is not visible so that was pretty much it about text visit in this video and remember we are talking about flutter a very new i won't say that it's very new but uh, because it's stable but still flutter is not something that you can relate to with android development if you were in android development earlier i mean you can relate but not the ui part because here you have to enter your ui and uh, you know that you know making the ui using the code is has its own pros and cons pros are that uh, people who like coding will just love it like people like me would not like to do things on dra drag and drop obviously we did have that uh, xml editor in android but that's okay and one another cons is that if you have to do something you will have to you know most of the times it's like hit and try if you are not having a predefined design of your own but anyway we will be talking about that later on but right now i did explain this text visit in detail because whenever you want to enter some text on your app you will have to use this text visit like most of the times one of the exception was this title that i did tell right here but most of the time like you know this title of the app bar to uses a text visit and since it uses a text visit all the parameters of the text visit or you can say that all the styling of the text visit can be applied to this text visit at the app bar too don't trust me if i say something like a style and this will be a new text style and here i am telling my text text visits style to change the default styling that we have like if i just save this if we go here you see that this app is white in color and is pretty small so i'm saying that hey first of all i want to change the color to black so i have colors dot black and then i'm saying that change the font size to like 24.0 save this and see okay i did say 2.0 it's not 2.0 24.0 save this and you can see the difference so this is how it works in flutter we nest widgets in each other and you know there are there are very few widgets that you have to learn and most of the time you will just be nesting them so learning this very basic widgets is very necessary like the text widget obviously now that you know all of these the decoration font styling color and overflow and all so you can actually nail down with the text visit whenever you have to use it so that's pre pretty much it in this video and if you want to do something i will say that uh, make sure that you enter some text in this screen some huge one which says i am learning flutter from desi programmer which is blue in color make this app bar to blue make the text blue give the text not give the text just a simple background whatever you like and if if you you know it should have a property that uh, if your phone size is small you i mean you should just set this overflow to fade by default so that if somebody has a small phone phone size it should fade if you are able to create that you can send me your you know phone's screenshot i mean if you are using it on simulator you can just click on this button and it will give you a screenshot on a desktop if you're using a real device you can take a screenshot and send me that on instagram i will make sure that i check that out but don't worry as we move on we will be doing a lot more in flutter right now this is almost a lot like this is not less if if it's just five videos i think till now and we are able to do this much with text in android app which is no less so trust me we are going to nail down flutter very soon and if you are just loving this series that make sure that you let me know and you know how you can let me know if you are loving something that i have on this channel like i don't need to explain you so i'll catch you up in the next video talking more about flutter and its visit till then keep loving keep coding keep sharing peace